I am so excited to finally sit down and be filming this video with you guys. I'm excited for you guys to see it. I've been keeping the secret for a while. Um, so today is the day that we're getting a new puppy. And I'm so excited because I... I really was fine with just Winnie because you guys know I'm obsessed with Winnie and Winnie's like my heart and soul and my pride and joy and I just, I'm fine with one dog. But we felt like, Dylan and I, that we needed to get a new dog for the sake of Winnie, not even like for our joy, but for Winnie because anytime you guys like even noticed it in the vlogs, um, we would go to a friend's house, family member's house that has another dog. Winnie would just be like a completely different dog around others. We just decided that it was time to get another dog because the opportunity kind of fell into our lap. We weren't even really looking for another one because if you guys know, Winnie is a golden doodle and she's like a medium size. So she's around 47 pounds um, and it's hard to find golden doodles. One, they're really expensive. Two, they go really quick. And the way I found Winnie was during quarantine and it just kind of like fell into my lap again. Like I feel like when things are supposed to happen, they fall into your lap. So this is kind of what happened with this dog. And I was like, you know what, let's get it and hope for the best and hope that her and Winnie get along. So we're getting another female dog and her name is going to be Rue. And we're so excited. She's a Saint Redoodle and Dylan's mom and dad are actually on their way here. It is Saturday right now. Dylan has a home game tonight, um, Vanderbilt against Elon tonight at six o'clock. So they're gonna come to the game and it just worked out that they're gonna go ahead and bring me Rue. So Rue has been at their house for a while. She is a full St. Bernoodle. She was bred with a St. Bernard and a full size standard poodle. So she's gonna be a big girl. And you guys probably see the cage in the back. So I have her like stuff set up. And I'm sad though, because the timing didn't work out because Winnie isn't here. Winnie is still in Florida. She is going to be coming back home for good next week um, when my mom comes down, but I'm going to New York Fashion Week in a few days. Um, so I was nervous about getting another dog due to traveling, but now that Dylan and I live together, Dylan, and it's the season, Dylan doesn't travel during the season unless it's the weekends. And um, he's home during the week and that's normally when like my work trips are. So. Uh, for fashion week I'll be gone during the week and I'm actually coming home two days early just so I can make sure that I'm gonna take care of the dog and stuff over the weekend and then we have um, family not family friends we have friends of the football team that are gonna help us out when it comes to taking out Rue while I'm gone so I already know people are gonna comment like you travel a ton how are you gonna take care of a puppy and I'm just gonna say the same way that I raised Winnie and she turned out perfect so um Anyways, I'm so excited to meet her. I've seen pictures and I met her when she was like two, three weeks old. So she was actually bred at Dylan's house. So Dylan's mom has been raising her and we just kind of watched her grow up and fell in love with her. So um, we are going to be taking her and I'm so excited. Dylan's middle brother, Kellen, is taking another one from the litter and they look like twins. So his is named Lilo and ours is gonna be named Rue and they're literally like identical. So I'm really excited to watch her grow up. She's gonna be a big, big girl and I'm excited to like share her growing up with you guys. I love, that's why I love YouTube because um, I can go back and look at all the videos of Winnie growing up like in Florida when I got her and it's just like so special. So I'm excited to introduce you guys to Rue. I'm excited to meet Rue. I'm excited for Dylan to meet Rue tonight. And I'm excited for especially Winnie and Rue to be best friends because I just know Winnie will be so much happier and more like full of life here, which is what I want her to be. I get honestly like I joke about the anxiety and her like staying on the carpet and her like being anxious and scared about everything. Like I joke about it, but I think that's like my coping for that. I truly do like feel bad for her and I want her to be like fully happy. So I think that a new dog is going to be the key. A lot of like vets have recommended dogs are pack animals they like need to be around other animals things like that so i'm hoping that that is the case for winnie and i'm excited to <laughs> introduce them so me introducing winnie and rue will be like coming next week when winnie gets home so that'll be another vlog but i just wanted to do a little video of us getting a puppy and i'm so excited to share it with you guys so she's already like 18 pounds she's already like a big girl she's probably already half the size of winnie we haven't even gotten her yet but she's around 10 11 weeks old um she was old enough to come home like three four weeks ago but with traveling and dylan and i both going to hawaii dylan's mom was like so kind and kept her longer for us so um now that we're back kind of settled not as many trips coming up i have like two trips this month but 
Um, we've already worked it out and we'll either have friends or family here at the house for the puppy. But um, I'm gonna take you guys along with pet training and all that stuff. I did not have to train Winnie at all. Like she was already potty trained. She was already such a good dog. I don't know how or why. So I'm anxious to see how this goes with the puppy because Winnie like didn't cry in the crate. She never peed in the house. Like she was just an unreal dog. And so I'm a little nervous to see how it goes with Brew, but I think she'll be fine. But I wanted to show you guys, I think that her crate will stay down here. We just have it down here now because Dylan's mom and dad are going to be staying in the guest room tonight. But my goal is to put her in the guest room so the cage is like out of the way. I don't really love that. I also don't need to call it a cage. I should call it a crate. That sounds like a little bit better. But I got a huge crate and I put a divider in the middle. So right now as she's small, she doesn't have access to the whole thing. Um... I read that that's like something good to do for a puppy, um, but when she gets bigger, she'll have the whole cage. It's up to a hundred pound dog, and I think she's going to be around like 70 or 80 pounds. She's going to be huge, but I'm so excited to share her with you guys, and I'm excited for you guys to like virtually meet her, um, but eventually my point of saying, talking about the crate is that it'll go upstairs in the guest room, and she'll sleep in the crate and be in the crate while we're gone until she is fully trained like Winnie, like I have spent way too much time and money on keeping my house clean and the furniture and stuff that I'm not going to let a dog ruin it so until she can like prove that she is fine being left out we will leave winnie out as is like we always do and we'll put rue in the crate so i'm so excited she'll be here in like an hour and i cannot wait i'm so excited we're gonna have her and winnie um eat separately until we can finally put them on the same food but this i just got from PetSmart yesterday and then i have this huge crate you guys it's actually so freaking big you can like see this is my hand next to the grate it's huge but i have it sectioned off so it's split down the middle right now so she only has access to about like this much and i'm gonna put like pee pads down because tonight when we go to the football game she'll be in there for a good bit um so we'll see how she does the first night and then tonight we'll put her in the crate um while we're sleeping and see how she does i'm hoping she's good dylan's mom said she's been pretty good so we will see about that but Rue's food will go there. Winnie's food will go over there, which is like what I was just using as a tripod. So <laughs> also wanted to share with you guys. I got some fun little things. It was so funny for me going into PetSmart yesterday, like buying this stuff because I'm like, I never had to do any of this with Winnie. So I'm hoping that Rue picks up on Winnie's like tendencies and behaves like her. But I got another food container, a bigger one when they're eventually both on the same food we can keep in the pantry and then um a while back when i showed you guys these um toys and leashes and stuff it was actually for rue i got this all in rosemary beach but i didn't want to tell you guys yet so i got this little chew toy for her i got a ball for winnie and rue um new collar this stuff is from hucks and harlow they have the best stuff in rosemary beach if you guys ever go and they also have an online website so i got a large because i know she's gonna get big quick and they're kind of expensive collars but then yesterday at petsmart i picked her up a medium size one which i think this is still going to be too big for her but she's growing so fast that i feel like right now we'll just not put a leash on or a collar on her especially because i get nervous putting a dog's collar and then putting them in the crate because one time we had a small puppy and their collar got stuck on the crate and I would hate for that to happen while we're gone. So she'll probably just go like collarless right now, but I'm so excited. She's gonna be here in like an hour. Tonight for dinner, we did Hello Fresh. I was so obsessed with this recipe. These tacos were so, so good. If you guys have not tried Hello Fresh by now, you have got to try them out. What I love is that they work with your schedule. So I feel like a lot of people don't do meal plan services or anything like that because they're like, it doesn't go with my schedule. Well, Hello Fresh is super flexible and you can change your meal preferences. You can update your delivery day and you can even change your address with just a few taps on the HelloFresh app, which is really nice. Also, now that fall is just about here, they have a ton of fall fresh flavors. Every HelloFresh recipe includes ripe, just picked produce that travels from the farm to your door in less than a week, which I love knowing. Also, they offer veggie, pescatarian, and fit and wholesome meals to make it easy to stick to your goals for the new season and also just to kind of fit everyone's dietary needs. So if you guys have not tried HelloFresh by now, you've got to check them out. I'll have it linked down below, but I also have it here on the screen. You guys can go to hellofresh.com and use my code RATKEY16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. Again, that is hellofresh.com. My code is RATKEY16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. So thank you HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. These tacos were so, so good. You know it's kind of fun 
you. I want to go get a puppuccino. Have a room full of things. It feels completely empty when you're not in the wings. How could I have known the fortune I would find? A piece deep in my bones. The beauty day and night. And you may anywhere feel like home. Home is where we live. Living by your side. Oh, and I can't imagine any other way. The way our world needs your touch. You're touching every space, and how it makes any place feel like home. I'm kind of lucky that when I hit a wall, I know I can climb up. 'Cause you're the ground beneath it all, and you make anywhere feel like home. Home isn't where we. In every space, and now it makes any place feel like home. Feel like home. Show them and introduce you to the vlog. We do, we do, we do, we do. Everyone say hello to Mrs. Rue. She is so cute, right? She is so cute. She's in full play mode right now because we just ate. But I wanted to sit down and do like a little recap of her. We've had her for two days now and I am obsessed with her and I am even more excited because I know that her and Winnie are going to be best buddies because a lot of the things that she has been doing has been reminding me a ton of Winnie. So we've had her for two nights now. Dylan's mom and dad came and dropped her off. Um, she is a, I can't remember what I said when I started this video. She is a Saint Berdoodle. So she, the mom is a Saint Bernard who is about 120 pounds. And then the dad is a standard full poodle and he's about 60 pounds. So she'll probably be around 80 pounds she was one of the smaller puppies so i'm hoping around 70 but um she's gonna be a big girl so we are so excited about adding her to our family she's so cute and sweet the first night we had <laughs> sorry we're in play mode no you cannot chew on the shoes though let's get you a bone play with this bone oh. play with this look at this the first night we had her we tried the crate down here you guys saw we put the crate down in this corner and she absolutely hated it cried all night ended up in the bed so i was like great i don't know how to really crate train um because winnie just would go in the crate and not cry or cause any problems so i was talking to our neighbor 
and she was telling me some things to do in the crate so i started to like feed her in her crate give her treats in her crate leave the door open so she felt like it was like a welcoming home and then last night we actually moved the crate up into our bedroom and the reason we didn't do that to begin with was because i was like we're not gonna be able to sleep if she is crying all night but she actually loved it because she could see us laying in the bed and then she was in her crate um and she slept throughout the whole night she went to bed at 11 and then we dylan woke up for work at 5 30 so that's when i woke up i took her out to a potty and then i put her on the bed just to like kind of see if she would go back to sleep and she slept till nine o'clock on the bed and didn't pee poop nothing in the crate like nothing at all she hasn't had any accidents in the house which i I will say though, I have been so good about taking her out a ton. I take her out probably almost every 30 minutes while I'm home. And then when I run errands, I've been trying to like be quick just because she is brand new to the house and stuff. And um, Dylan's mom did a really good job though because she had her for like since she was born. Um, so she kind of started to train her a little bit for us, which I'm very thankful for. Other than that though, she's been so good, so fun to have around the house. I am so sad that Winnie's not here, but I'm excited for them to meet. And I know once they meet, she will just follow everything Winnie does. And I know it's they're going to be like best friends. So I'm really, really excited for that. I'll vlog that when Winnie finally gets home in about a week and a half. But I'm anxious to leave town tomorrow. Um, I'm leaving for New York Fashion Week for three days. And Dylan will still be here. So that's why I decided to still like follow through with the trip. I'm going with Revolve and I'm really excited and I didn't want to miss out. So luckily our wonderful neighbors are gonna be taking care of rue during the day while dylan's at work so she won't be alone she won't be in the crate anything like that so i'm really happy that that ended up working out and then i'll be back friday to take over control because i really want to get her on a good schedule and really get her um potty trained and crate trained and stuff really early on and just i feel like once that's out of the way a puppy is pretty easy but it's just like the poop and peeing and stuff in the house because i have rugs everywhere as you guys know and i just got all new furniture and I don't want it to just like go to be a shit show. So I am going to try my hardest to keep up with it. And so far so good. She seems to be adjusting well. She's, she, it's funny cause she's been like walking around the house and she sees like Winnie's food and water bowl right here. And it's like empty and clean. And then there's like a bunch of toys and she's smelling. And I think she's like, okay, there is another dog in this house but I'm not sure where the dog is, but she's just been so fun to have. She's really, really cute and really sweet. She loves to cuddle and she's going to be a big girl. Look at these paws. So I am so excited that you guys finally got to see and meet her. Her name's Rue. We spell it R-U-E. So we have Winnie and Rue and we love them both, right? But you're on a tight leash because you have big shoes to fill because Mrs. Winnie was a really good dog, right? With all that set aside, I have a busy day today. I need to wrap up filming a video get that submitted um today's labor day um so i'm just gonna get the house because mostly everything's closed and then i'm gonna be packing for new york i have mostly all my outfits like put together there's gonna be a package that i thought was gonna show up today but then i realized that ups isn't running so we'll just go without that which is fine i have plenty of things to wear the rest of today is gonna just be packing for new york there was a package that i was supposed to have come um but then I realized today's Labor Day and there's no mail running, but it's fine. We'll do without. I have plenty of things to put together. So I just need like three outfits. I'm only going for a few days and then like daytime and comfy clothes. So I'll show you guys kind of some outfits that I have in my head that I think I'm going to put together and we'll see how those look. But yeah, just a chill little day with Rue and I. Dylan's at work and... I think that that's really it that I had to catch you guys up on. I can't believe that we have two dogs. I keep telling Dylan I feel like she's not our dog. I feel like she has to like go back to her house, but this is your house, Rue. I do want to run to PetSmart and get her some teething toys because I don't really have any like teething stuff because Winnie obviously isn't teething anymore, so I don't have any toys like that. So I'm going to go maybe run, maybe take her with me in the car. I took her yesterday in the car to get Starbucks. I think I filmed it a little bit and she did really well in the car every time. I think she likes like sound and music because last night I had the sound machine on and she slept so well opposed to just being down here by herself in the silence. So I think that we have a little bit of separation anxiety, right? I just ran to PetSmart because I needed to get her new collar before I left her with the neighbors because the medium was a little too big. So I had to get a small and then I got some teething toys. Look, look at these. Wow, here you go. 
and then she picked this out in the store. <laughs> Here's your lamb. There you go. She's so fluffy. She's actually not as big as you think, but like her, her neck, look at how like indented it is when you put the collar on. It shows how much fluff. After her first cut, I feel like she'll get curlier because if you can see on her butt, this is exactly how Winnie was. Winnie was like straggly junkyard dog <laughs> and then you can start seeing the curls come through. And then she also has a lot of curls on her face. You can like see the fluff. And she's so cute. Just unboxed some shoes from, I got both of these from Revolve um, for Fashion Week. I feel like I'm gonna be wearing these boots. They're so good, you guys. They're from the brand Tony Bianco, I believe. I got my true to size and I just love the long pointed square toe. And then I love the heel height. They're so comfy. I tried them on a second ago and they look really, really cute on. So I'm excited to, I'm glad these came in. They came in yesterday. And then I also got this like classic black pair of heels from Stuart Weitzman. I've always seen this brand and they're kind of like a luxury brand. They have like really pretty wedding shoes and stuff. So these were a splurge, but I don't have any black heels. You guys know how I am with black shoes on my feet, but since my feet are like showing through, I feel like I like these. So I'm gonna bring these heels for the week, for fashion week, and then these boots. I'm gonna try to style more outfits around like boots. And then I also got a pair of loafers just because these are not comfy. Well, they are comfy, but not like for a long period of time. I think the heel height is 3.75 and I feel anything over that is too tall and uncomfortable to walk in. So I'll link both of these below. These are on pre-order right now. So snag these. I feel like these are going to be like a great shoe for fall and winter. And then these are pricey, but if you're looking for a good black heel, I really, really like these. Can you just like nap for a sec, please? <laughs> I started laying stuff on top of her crate because if I put it on the bed, she'll start attacking it. So I've got some bags, some shoes, my pajamas, a pair of jeans. Hey, it's just you. It's just you in there. And then I have a trap. <laughs> travel airport outfit and then all of this stuff right here is basically my outfits revolve is dressing me for the gallery and then i'm leaving early so i won't make it to i think there's like a tiktok club night or something like that but um anyways yeah they sent me some stuff over and it's really really cute so i'm gonna try it on style it with bags and shoes so i know what to pack and i'll show you guys but i'm not gonna try on all my outfits i'm gonna just do my main two and then you guys will see over on Instagram all my stuff when I post the photos and things like that. First little outfit is this blazer. It's really thick. A lot of my outfits I feel like I'm going to be hot, but it's okay. <laughs> Got blazer set and then this mini skirt, which I think I need one size lower in this blazer, but it's okay. And then I'm trying to decide if I want to do boots or these loafers. I just got these chanel loafers and i am literally obsessed with them um but i think the boots is more of like a vibe unless i do ankle socks and that could be cute this isn't one of my main outfits but i'm gonna bring it for backup and then i'm gonna do this purse i think all of this stuff should be available on revolve i think on the 7th which this video will be up way after that so i'll link all these items for you guys but I am obsessed with these boots. They're like such a good color. And I feel like they make you look really tan and your legs look good. This next outfit I am literally obsessed with. I feel like this is so me. So this is the base of the outfit. I'll show you guys in the mirror in a second. And then I think I wanna do a belt. Where did I put that one belt? This is either gonna be for the gallery walkthrough. So this is my first year going to Fashion Week, but apparently they do like a Revolve gallery where they showcase all of their brands and you get a walk through. There's like a um, gifting room and all that fun stuff. So I'm excited, but like I said, I've never been, so I don't know what to expect. I also don't know if that's how you're supposed to wrap this belt. I don't think that's right, but I'm just gonna do it right now. So I love the hanging on this belt. And then I think, Rue, this is what mom does a lot. She um, tries on a lot of clothes, so you get to watch. This is the fit, really low-waisted pants. I got these in a medium. I probably could have done a small. This whole fit is from Revolve. Love a cropped button-up. These are really gonna be in for fall. I've been seeing a ton of white ones, but I loved 
like the color. I thought it was different for me. <laughs> she literally follows me everywhere, you guys. And then these oversized like men's trouser, black belt. I could do the heels, which is more nighttime. So if I wear this to the dinner event, I'll probably do the heels. And then I'll probably, probably do this black, maybe this black by far bag or I guess it depends on what shoe. When they sent the outfit over, it came with this jacket, which I know is gonna be way too hot. You guys are probably like, Rachel, it's not middle of winter, but I think it could be cute for a photo. So I'm gonna definitely bring it. But I'm kind of liking the heels. I feel like it's more, I might do this for my nighttime look because then I can do the black bag. I need to get these pants hemmed, but there's like no time for that. I think I'm gonna do this for night because I'm liking the heels. I'm gonna put both heels on and I'll show you guys. Definitely think I like the heels. I kind of cupped the pants. I thought it gave it like a little nighttime look with the heels. Um, this is something that I like put together on my own, but I got everything off of Revolve. So I'm wearing this blazer. Gotten a size large, I'll link it for you guys. Really pretty lace. And then I just have some like skims underneath to make it obviously not see-through. And then I just have the black heels with it. I think this is really cute and like sexy for like a nighttime. I might even do this for dinner. I'm not sure yet, but I really love this little slip. Okay, this is the last little outfit I wanna show you guys. I am obsessed with this dress. I have a little skims set underneath. These are like game changers. Little slit in the leg, and then I have some layering things that I wanna do with this outfit, so I'm gonna try. I don't know if I should wear, I kinda wanted to wear my loafers, but I'm thinking I might need to do boots or something. When I set this outfit over, it was styled with this jacket which I love. This is sheer. I feel like anything sheer is gonna be really in for fall. This would be honestly really cute with sneakers, but I feel like for a ball gallery, I need to be a little bit more dressed up. So let's see. Okay, loafers are cute, but I don't think for like the occasion. I think no. If you chew these shoes, I will seriously hurt you. Oh yeah, wait, these boots are really cute with this. This is cute. Oh hi. You can see it better in this mirror. Um, this Bottega bag, it's a little bit different of a tan, but it's probably like the closest I have to matching. And I just tied it up like really tight to do a little shoulder bag situation. And then this is an option to throw over. I'm probably gonna bring it. What are you barking at? Bye.